Remarkably, first grade is based on a true story, so I wondered, yeah. were you familiar with that when uh, Murray Gay's story, when the script came to you? No, I didn't know anything about his story, actually. So it was a real education for me because I didn't know how inspirational um, Murray Gay was for a lot of Kenyans. You know, he became the poster boy for education over in Kenya and inspired a lot of people to go on to further education. Um, and he has a fantastic story as well. You know, he, even on his deathbed at 89, was still demanding that he be taught. So teachers would come while he was dying of cancer and teach him every day. And he actually got to fifth grade, you know, so, um, which is an incredible achievement. Mm. Did you get to meet the real teacher Jane as well? I did, but I met her about day 20 of the 36 day shoot because I didn't really want, you know, to sort of kind of feel like I have to imitate her and mm. to feel constricted by the reality of who she was. I wanted to be free to make the character my own, you know, and make it work for the script. But it was incredible meeting her because um, she came on one of those days when I was doing a scene with the children and I was teaching and that was really intimidating because I know what a fantastic teacher she is. But she watched me at the back and then um, after she came up and she said, you're a, you're a great teacher. So that was really heartwarming. Yeah. You had practiced though before because when you sort of devising lesson plans and stuff and actually with the, the help of my stepdad who is a teacher um, on Skype in the mm -hmm. evenings like I'd Skype home to him in, in um, from Kenya and say please help me and he would come up with lesson plans for me um, but yeah I spent two weeks with those kids um, teaching them and there were 80 of them ranging in age from 5 to 21 so it was really super challenging. Uh, how did they, they kind of react when Oliver Batunga came in as well because I guess it kind of mirrors him coming in and doing that mirrors what happened in the film. Yeah, um, he, they, they just all fell about. I mean, their reaction was as it is in the film. They fell about laughing, mm. which was really sweet. But then also, what was so sweet as well was just how quickly they embraced him and they just treated him as one of of their own, you know. And which was amazing because in their culture, adults are so revered normally, and so they wouldn't really be embraced in that kind of way. But they really kind of took him under their wing and thought we're going to look after him, which was really sweet to see. What, why do you think as well that Jane fights for Marie Gay? Because there's a, a basically a bit where the rats they want to take him away mm. from school. So why do you think uh, she does that? I think because she really feels, you know, as a teacher, it's almost like being a doctor and, you know, someone saying, well, you can't treat this patient, you know. It's like as a teacher, that's her fundamental role to educate. And if you have someone who's that desperate for education and hungry to learn, it's just sort of went against every grain in her body to sort of say no to him and deny him that opportunity. Um, and. Yeah, I think she just thought, you know, education is a gift that should be available to all. And I think she's quite right. And uh, what, as well, do you hope our audiences take away from the first grader? Well, I hope that they take away the positive messages, um, uh, namely, you know, the importance of education, that it's a, a gift and a privilege rather than just a chore. Um, also the ability to change your life at any age. You know, Marie Gay desires at 84 years old that he is gonna change his life. And he really does. You know, this man did become the poster boy for education. He inspired a whole new generation of Kenyans to go on and value education. So you can do that at any age. Um, and also the importance of learning from the old as well. I think we live in such an ageist society generally that we think the old have nothing to teach us. And we have so much to learn from the old. Um, so I think they, I, I'd love for people to come away and be moved and touched and inspired by those messages, but also for them to have a good time because there's a lot of humour in the movie, you know, um, and it is a really fun, uplifting story. Um, and there are, and the kids as well, and, uh, who are the heart and soul of the movie, are really, really touching. So I think it's a, a fantastic movie for all the family. Everyone will enjoy it, and um, everyone should go and see it. <laughs>